and see how see how things how things work on there. See if there's any video. Is there horse racing? I think I think I saw someone there with somewhere there was racing. I don't know if there is proper horse racing. I feel like that could be fun. Uh, <laughs> can we? We can't really do King of the Hill, sadly, with horses. There's a lack of wind turbines, I think, to knock over or to launch horses to space and so on. But you know, we will we will see. We will we will see. Uh, things are going to get busy. Um, things are about to to get busy, I suspect, as we are going to try and fit well. We knew that one was coming. I could just sense, could sense that, that one was going to happen at some point. Now, I was like just being careful on the brakes, ready for that corner. There's always going to be somebody who missed the brakes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this this track is is technical. This track is is a technical bugger. Oh. Almost, almost got up the inside. Couldn't quite make it work. Uh, no, we're not going to make it up the inside there. We're going to run around the hotel. A little bit of handbrake. Not really helpful in all of that. Oh, the <laughs> it's chaos. Guys, guys, it's a little bit chaotic. Let's, let's just get stinty going. Otherwise, we'll make a very big mess of all of that uh, and end up blocking up the entire, oh, entire area. That's a tough corner to get right. We are through there, though. It's still busy. Oh, the other orange car's got a very, very good run. I don't really want to get involved in this. It looks like we're going to be, regardless of whether we want to or not, but I don't really want to be in the middle three wide. This is why I'm trying to avoid all of the carnage. Uh, okay, we are through. I just want to try to survive the opening lap. I want to be able to whoa, not fight over a lamppost. Bloody street furniture! There is street furniture everywhere! Alright, Turbo's leading the way and running away a little bit at the front. Stinty's up in second. There's a few cars in all sorts of trouble behind us. If we can just get away from that. Well, Stinty's in the wall. Oh, that's narrow. That's very nasty. <laughs> it's very, very nasty indeed. Where are we going? Uh, into the... Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll run down here. I remember that from the old versus the police shenanigans. It was always a place you try place I tried to hide. I don't think I ever successfully got away from the police in there, but it was somewhere you could try and hide. We will have a go at the inside. We will make that pass stick. There's another place catch up is going to be uh, minimal effective. It's so many corners around here. It's more mistakes that are probably going to get you uh, more than anything else. With I mean just constant cornering. It is very very difficult. I apologise, chat. It's, I mean this race. Normal racing is very difficult to look at chat. This race even more so because it is just constant. It is corner after corner after corner <laughs> after corner. And that is... I mean, that's a tough one. That is a tough one to sort of keep up with everything. Uh, all right. So me, Stinty, and Turbo are making a breakaway a little bit at the front. Which is good. Which is good. You kind of want to be able to drive in a little bit in clean air for this sort of uh, <laughs> this sort of race. You do not want 12 cars around the place. Oh, and Stinty crashed behind us. And, oh, Turbos hit the bench. Thank you. <laughs> I will take you. I will take you. I mean, this is my sort of racing. I mean, it's, I always loved the autocross on Forza games. It's a shame we can't actually build cars properly for autocross. Shame there's not a proper, um, I don't know, what's it called? Rivals mode for, for autocross. But, I mean, this sort of stuff is along similar lines. Not quite, of course, but whoops, that's a big slide. Uh, <laughs> screwed that one up. We lost all of the momentum going out onto there just because of one big slide. Jeez. Like, that, that is worse than hitting a wall in many ways. Like, in terms of time loss, uh, in terms of, yeah, because we lost a good few seconds there, and that was just from an oversteer moment, because we, we spun the, got the car sideways, and then just couldn't get going again in time. I was hoping for a better, a more normal racing line there. would get us back past Stinty, but that was not that was not the case. Are we going to... Well, I don't know the track well enough to know if I can try go around the outside or where it's going to put me for the next corner, which uh, makes it very, very difficult uh, how, to, how to overtake. So I'm trying to, be a, I'm trying to be a little bit cautious so I don't make a silly mistake uh, while still trying to gain time. We can take a shortcut there. I'm allowed to do that. That's perfectly allowed. Um, I mean, there's no barrier there. Any, any and all little advantages that can be taken must be, especially when, when you are up against the uh, map creator themselves, who will probably have driven it a fair bit more than, a fair bit more than I have. Uh, okay, they go through the trees. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll say I'm not sure. Particularly want to be doing that. Oh, turning the fraction too soon. Uh, 
momentum is very important with this car. You really don't want to... Like, if you bump something, end up spinning the wheels, you get, it takes so long to get going again. Which kind of surprises me. It's not exactly like it's a massively... Oh! Massively powerful front-wheel drive car. I'm sorry, there's not... You weren't really all that far up alongside that uh, one. That is... Yeah. I did not know you were going to be trying that. Oh, through there. Uh, we are back out the other side. How am I going to catch Stinty? I mean, oh, well, oh, I was going to say, how am I going to catch Stinty? Well, that's how. And then I did exactly the same thing, so. <laughs> well done, me. Well, we, we, we caught, and I, I think we came off a little bit better. We have, we are still, you know, that little bit, that little bit closer than we were last time around. Oh, that's not destructible. I didn't know that. Why is that not destructible? Somebody please explain to me. Why well, that particular bit isn't... Well, I guess they're in the indestructible bushes. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's not like GTA 5 has much consistency with its uh, with its street furniture slash scenery. Oh, come on. There we go. Fine. We'll weave our way out of all of that mess. We have still got, like, two more laps to go of the constant cornering, constant pay attention to what the bloody hell you're doing. Uh... I mean, we are like we are so far clear of the rest of the pack. That's quite impressive, actually, how far we have managed to to get ourselves away at the front. So this is where everything went wrong for everyone around me last lap. I made up a big, big, a big chunk of time here. Uh, we've again actually been pretty good through that section. We're closer than we were. Stinty playing it very, very close to the wall. Like, that's the, the whole risk versus reward. You know, you want to run close to the wall. Run close to the wall and you will make up some time. However, if you touch the wall and you have a very, very big crash somewhere. Uh, minimal, I say minimal. There, there aren't crossover points though, so we're not going to get screwed by the, uh, you know, cars further down. I don't slide my car that time around either, which is nice. Which is very, very nice. Okay, <laughs> Stinty. But we've got to follow. We need the slipstream pull. And that's what we do need. So we'll take the slipstream. You can go for the wide line. Uh, probably play it a little bit uh, carefully, making sure I don't torpedo. Or going for the cutback. Go, basically go for the line that I tried last time that didn't work. And now <laughs> Stinty found that it didn't really work all that well. I think overtaking is going to be very, very tough through here. I would try and give space if I see a car going for a gap. But you've got such little warning in GTA 5 that uh, there is going to be a car up the inside that you've got to be very, very careful. Uh, we'll force into the long way around there, because I can, <laughs> as the leader. I'm allowed to dictate that one. Oh, it's so, so close to the wall in places. It's so very close to the wall in places through there. Turbo's not that far down either if we clonk into one another. Uh, so that could... Uh, <laughs> That could be interesting. I see. I don't like going for that gap in the trees. Oh, although I've got big oversteer on my own. I don't know whether Stinty did go for it, but didn't manage to make up a position through all of that. I'm, this is a fantastic circuit to drive around. I'm terrified of it constantly because I know we are we are a split second away from a very big crash. <laughs> That's a fantastic little cutback, considering how narrow that road is. Considering how narrow that bit of road is. That's a, that's a yeah, good bit of driving. We both knew where the other's car was going to end up being. Uh, we both got away with it. Now, we learnt our lesson last time to be a little more cautious going into this tunnel. A little bit more cautious out the other side, perhaps. There we go. Is Stinty going to have a think up the inside? We'll cover. Make sure that there is no gap whatsoever. Oh, there we go. That's, that's yeah, I <laughs> didn't cover that inside. That's fair enough. Uh, although, you're going to be on the outside for the hairpin. We'll park that as much as we can on the apex. Oh. <laughs> so where, where is the next attack going to? I mean, we are going to... There is a sort of straight coming up further on that you will... Uh, get the start finish sort of after the start finish line down towards sort of hairpin towards the tennis courts. That is a straight long enough for catch up and slipstream to actually properly come into effect, and that there will be a pass there. Much as I did last lap around, there might be a pass down here as well. It's, you've got a good opportunity to try something. Gonna have to go the long way around though. Not gonna make it easy if we can help it, because uh, we're gonna be oh we're gonna get the run through <laughs> the next corner. We will hold on, just for now, in towards my favourite section of the course. I don't really know why, but apparently it is my favourite part of the course. Stay back. Uh, we have actually got a nice 
small margin. There's never really been any great margins in this one. That's a very solid post that we don't want to hit. That's a less solid post. Still don't really want to hit it. Uh, <laughs> there is a stricken... Oh, there was a, there's a stricken car. You and had to go for a minute. So that's why there is a stricken gold mobile in there. Come on, keep running away. Keep running away. Now, don't... Don't get the oversteer like that. That's not what we wanted. We managed to curtail it as much as possible. Oh, but it's not great. And this is where Stinty will have the big advantage now. Uh, I am going to get across here. It's, oh, he's got the slipstream, but it's, he's going to stay ahead. Although it was too late on the brakes. We will sneak it back past Stinty's upside down. <laughs> There's a road car! It's a foul race approved race right there. <laughs> it's a tumbled over vehicle. And well well done. Well done. That's quite impressive actually managing. I don't even know how he managed to roll there. Uh, I think it was uh, realised he wasn't making the corner, trying to go around the outside of the trees and potentially the uh, sort of bumpy terrain ground was enough to tip the mini over. That is unfortunate. If if there was a lag punt involved, I do apologise, because, well, I wouldn't necessarily see them myself. But, uh, oh, that's a, big, that's a big roll as well. That's a big roll, and of course, that's a lot of time lost around here. If I don't balls this up, which, well, let's face it, it's pretty easily done, I don't think there's going to be the, the time to catch up. Of course, I was probably slowing Stinty down a little bit. We saw the speed... Um, yeah, I mean, it's actually not as much time back as I thought, but we saw the amount that I was, I say defending, and there's some places where you're just not overtaking anyway, it's just going to be single single file traffic. Um, there was a lot of places where there was an orange mini where a white mini would want to be. Don't rub along the buildings, because that's going to be trouble if we do that, because all it takes is one building to have a little sticky outy bit, uh, and that'll be the end of your car. Beware of some signposts not being destructible, even if they look like they should be. I don't know where other ones might be. Oh, don't do that, Mini. That's not what we needed whatsoever. Uh, that signpost there is destructible, but we lost a little bit of time. Uh, towards the hairpin, we head around. There's that white Mini. Still at a safe distance for now. Still, we're still not at a panicking, panicking distance. I say panicking distance. Still not at a uh, distance where we have to worry. Oh. <laughs> we, we hit the wall and kind of used the wall to help uh, turn us the right way. That's that's kind of you, wall. That's very kind of you. What a pleasant, what a pleasant piece of scenery that one was. So we head through the movie lot again. We're still, we're still clear. I've actually made a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to be doing it. I'm not wanting to mess around with the controller to bring up like the. Uh, gaps and everything, because that's just asking for trouble on a track such as this one. Alright, around the double roundabout-ish, double roundabout-ish section. And I think we just have a couple more corners to go. Don't clip a wall, don't hit anything solid for these next couple of turns. We'll run down an alleyway, and then it is a blast to the finish line, and don't get oversteer on the transition across the grass. That's basically all we have to do now. I think even if we did get oversteer, we'd probably still be okay as we will break it through there. We will take victory. Third, took us to the third race of the stream. Three laps, that was a fantastic battle. Final lap, it went a little bit wrong at the first corner. The rest of it, though, was fantastic, fantastic fun. Brazen, we get fastest lap of the race back in fourth, but... Uh, there's, yeah, <laughs> once you fall a little bit too far back, it is, that's such a tough track to make up positions and get stuck in traffic and you are done for. I don't think I want to be at the front. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Don't think, I don't think I want to be at the front of this somehow. All right, here we go. Um, we are off and underway, which I'll do a little wheelie because we can didn't really do very much. They aren't amazingly fast. Can I have some slipstream, please, from somebody? Go! Uh, well, Chris met some scenery and didn't go very fast. Oh, someone's flying their way around the place. Okay, we've made it through the first corner better than last time. Someone's hit the wall immediately. Ah! Well, we've got underneath a moped. That's a new one. Don't think very often you have flying mopeds in a race. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we're fine. We're all okay around the kind of outside. 
we've survived. That's the important thing. Oh, and right, I was going to try ride the wall. Uh, no, oh, I get some more air time. <laughs> I mean, it's busy. I will say that much. We were three wide in a place where well, you physically couldn't fit three cars wide. So that's something, at least. Uh, the bike's not been too bad handling-wise. Not really caught me out on any of that. There's some slight lag going on. But, I mean, that's nothing unusual. There's some slight death going on. That is... Actually, no, that's not really unusual either, is it? Let's face it. Oh, that uh, curbing is nasty. That curbing is very dangerous. We will sneak through that. I'm not really sure... We want to be sneaking through the very, very uh, teeny tiny uh, area in the <laughs> in the wall if we can avoid it. Uh, there we go. Oh, some beautiful slipstream. Some beautiful slipstream is going everywhere. Uh, you know what? You can have a duck. Well done, everyone. <laughs> the one corner that flummoxed everybody. It flummoxed them all. Well done. That's some impressive stuff right there. Some very impressive stuff right there. Oh, don't take out the wall. We are carefully avoiding the wall. We've got two orange mopeds at the front, which is a good day. A good day for everybody. It's when two orange mopeds are at the front. Um, these are still dangerous around here, not gonna lie. These are these are still pretty dangerous around here. Avoid the horrendous indestructible post. Someone didn't. I think one of the orange scooters went to space on the indestructible post. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Reku Finn saying slipstream on scooters. Yep, it's of course there is slipstream on scooters. Uh, look at the massive hole in the air that I am punching riding this thing. It is going to create a huge slipstream effect behind it that anything driving into will suddenly be amazing. It'll be like driving a super bike when you're behind another scooter. That's totally how physics work. Um, in GTA 5 land it is anyway. Uh, we went for a cutback, but now we're just slowly driving up a hill. See, look! Superbike performance! And then it's immediately you hit that wall of air and then not superbike performance all at once. Uh, can I have my superbike performance now? Thank you. Uh, oh, see? Superbikes from further back have caused mayhem. Uh, it does work a little bit better on mopeds, not gonna lie. Oh, driving a little bit too deep through there. Uh, than, than, than cars in some in some respect. You think you can get more than... Ah, oh, no! Brazen, you found a bush and we lost all of the momentum. And now we're gonna let... Oh, what? Brazen's leading the way. I'm not even sure. No nameplate above you. Well, you're gone. <laughs> you're taken out by a bit of scenery. Ah! Uh, can we have some... Uh, going side by side here is a bad idea. Uh, Stinty's doing a little bit of a wheelie uh, through the middle. We've got big... There we go. Big old slipstream pull to uh, take us through. Oh, there was almost some of that bike oversteer. There was almost some of that bike oversteer. I want that slipstream. I want that slipstream. Come here. We need, <laughs> we need some of the slipstream. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Pull out the slipstream. I don't, I, don't th I don't think wheeling really helps. I mean, you've got a little less friction, I guess, with one wheel dragging on the ground, but you've also got a much bigger area going through the air, essentially. And there are ways that wheeling can help in, in the game. I do know that much. But uh, for what we're doing around here, I don't think so. Oh, God. It's ping off the wall if you're not careful. I mean, we... We could come in any number of positions. Oh, the offensive blue bike has not made that corner whatsoever. Oh, come on. Come on. Round the outside. We will make that stick just. Oh. It is absolutely mad on scooters around here. This is the final lap. We are already doing a two-lap race because they are not quick around this part. And two laps is still enough to get you a pretty good idea of a scooter race around this incredibly, incredibly technical circuit. Uh, we're going to go for... Oh, that jump there. It's nearly screwed me again. Oh, we'll duck into there. Oh, it's going to be a uh, repeat of last race. Me versus Stinty. Uh, for the for the, uh, for the victory here. Come on. Where's that glorious slipstream? Where's that glorious slipstream? Uh, I've got to ping my way out of it a little bit. Oh, yes! <laughs> I might have used... <laughs> I might potentially have pinged off, off the back of our leader uh, to make it through that corner. Oh! I'm sorry, I had to turn in because I was going towards the wall. Ah, oh, bugger. Um, that was my mess. I've created a crash. Quite a big crash in the wall, but, you know, never mind. Uh, Ninetales is going to get past us, I would think. There, can't do much about that. Oh, God, don't get sudden speed boost. <laughs> don't get sudden speed boost while pratting around doing wheelies at the wrong time. We're going to go around the outside of everyone. I don't even know how that overtake worked. It did. That, that overtake very much worked as we lead the way again. Uh, 
Now, don't clip any more buildings. We got away with a couple of building clips uh, that we could have done without, pretty much. I think we're going to get slipstreamed all at the wrong time. But you never know. You never know with this. Uh, Brazen might try and go around the outside here. Uh, we are going to get slipstreamed badly coming down this next section. Here is not going to be fun for us. And we've kind of screwed ourselves. Oh, dear. <laughs> Someone had a very bad time in a caravan. Actually, that's everybody had a very bad time in a caravan. However, someone in particular met a caravan with their moped. Oh, physics, what have you done there? I think we might have let Stinty get away with that one because physics just stopped all of us dead. Uh, there was like a five-way cutback going on there. Uh <laughs> Oh, what? I'm very sorry, Ninetales. The stream will prove that I had absolutely nothing to do with that and that the game got weird. Uh, the, the <laughs> was some Ninetales side force went on there, and I'm not quite sure how that worked. Uh, it screwed Ninetales over worse than me. It screwed me over a little bit. Uh, we are going to have the massive slipstream pull uh, down here. However, we are not going to have... Oh, there's a gap there. We are just going to squeeze through... Oh, we're a little wide. Who's going to get it? I think I'm still going to get a podium just. Uh, <laughs> just. Only just, mind. God damn. <laughs> that was a good race. That was a good... That was a good race, indeed.